understanding of people who say fasting is no food, no water, that's it. Or is animal understanding? How are you going to make yourselves to be clean? Yes, asking Allah. We ask Allah. And Allah is almost guaranteeing, guaranteeing, saying, if you don't make shirk, I will forgive all your sins. It's to each other that you're not going to forgive. It's the rights that you take from each other. And those righteous ones, they don't ask for their rights. They don't ask for their rights. You think the prophets are going to ask for their rights? That is the time Allah is saying, okay, now I'm going to interfere. They can forgive their rights, but Allah, their owner, is going to say, now, because that one's still not understanding what you did. That one, although you forgive the rights to them, but they never ask for forgiveness. They don't see themselves doing anything wrong. They are so uh, blind. And Allah saying, I know you forgive them, even when they don't ask. But I'm saying I'm not going to forgive them because they never ask from you. That's a very dangerous situation. How are we going to clean ourselves up from each other in this month? If anything, we see last 10 days, people are starting to bubble. Well, you're not understanding, take a step back, close the mouth. We're supposed to enter into iktikaf anyway. What is iktikaf? Just enter into masjid? Like today's people enter masjid with their phone, talking to their friends, just hanging out. That is not iktikaf. Enter into a state of iktikaf, a state, a state, you understand? Meaning you cut yourself off everything from outside and also from the inside that your ego is pulling. You cut yourself off. Which is why we're saying every time we enter into zikir or sohbat, we say nawaitu. Arba'in, first for the chilla. Forty days we make the intention. Now I take the cuff. And we always say, we're not going to let outside to interfere. This is a circle. This is a circle of Allah and His Prophet. This is a garden of paradise. Now, are you going to enter into a state of ikhtikaf? when you're not fixing things with each other this month. This is a tradition. This is a month of forgiveness. This is a tradition where you're supposed to ask each other for forgiveness, especially on the day of Fitr. In some countries, a very big tradition, they would go to their parents, their grandparents. They would sit on their knees in front of them and then they will ask for forgiveness, crying. But today is Muslims very proud. What forgiveness? I didn't do anything wrong. Why should be forgiving? You have your way, I have my way. That time when you are asking each other for forgiveness, and you are crying, and the one who is forgiving you, he is also crying, Rahmat enters now from individuals to families to communities to the whole country now in a state of forgiveness from each other. But you are asking, you understand? Maybe you cannot say so much, but you've already opened the door and you're asking, and the door is wide open now. You're asking, and you're feeling very sorry. Not just to be silent, a statue. Allah is not liking it. The Prophet is not liking it. The Prophet ﷺ is asking for forgiveness from Allah 70 times a day. We don't ask for forgiveness from each other. Once. Very few. Only. Hmm. Because the tradition is lost. 
You may call yourself, doesn't matter. You can call yourself this lineage, that lineage, this tariqat, this son of shahda. It's lost. That's why people are saying, no, 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 I still have this. You have that, but there's no sir anymore. It's lost. There's no secret to that. You're just holding on to the shell. You say, no, no, I have this, I have this. It's gone. We're talking now about the meaning of Ramazan. If you don't have this meaning, outside you have. When something doesn't have any meaning, it becomes nonsense. Nonsense. Fasting for nonsense. Praying for nonsense. Zikr for nonsense. Nonsense. As the Prophet is saying, you're going to make khutbah next week. Warning people about the dangers of taking Ramazan lightly. Hmm? Instead of in this month, more to go to each other, because Allah has blessed us in this country, but in some ways we don't also get the blessing because we don't see too many poor people around us. Not too many. But at the same time, there are poor people amongst us. One way or another, they're in need of something. What are you doing to give? What are you doing to give? Say, oh, I cannot make food for 200 people. Don't make food for one. Whatever you're eating, share. Are you doing that? I didn't even think that shaitan fooled you. He fooled you before Ramazan. You already made up your mind. You cannot do anything. Share a date. Share a glass of water. Run to help each other. A smile. Have good feelings with each other. It is not the month to pull back. It is my duty to say, first to myself and those who are listening. You don't want to listen? Everyone, as Shah Fendi says, is going to be hung by his own two legs, like a sheep over there. Don't expect now. Oh, don't worry. My sheikh is going to save me. You are breaking the law. No prophet and no sheikh is going to save you. Unless you turn around and you ask for forgiveness. This is the key. But so many, they're not sincere in their forgiveness too. What is all this tafakur for? To be sincere. To, I, forgive me. Forgive for what? For what? Are you understanding what you did? Are you understanding? Oh, I didn't do anything. I just put one pin to his heart, let's say. I didn't put a sword. Yani, did you take that pin and put it in your heart to understand? If you do and you feel the same pain, then you have the right to do it, maybe. We want this jamaat. Shaf and his jamaat to get better every year, to get closer. It doesn't matter to me if only two people are left. It really doesn't matter to me. So many ways, it makes my job so much easier to <laughs> believe me. But people of honor, they keep their promises. They say, my honor is the word, my word is my honor. That's it through thick or through thin. We gave our word. We don't want to be hypocrites that when the sun is shining, we are so happy, like the uh, squash plant. <laughs> but when the cold hits one time, <laughs> So many are like that. We are smiling, boosting, so happy. We hit one time. Uh. It's no good. This is now showing your strength and your faith. What is it? Think carefully. What is it that we are giving? What is it that we are taking? What is it that you are taking and what is it that you are giving?
So we must look. We cannot go out to feed so many people. Help each other. This is how you're going to build the Silatu Rahim, the bond of compassion. But it's all because of Jamaat. You cannot say, ah, it's the same. Uh, of course, today is like that. Uh, same. Praying in masjid, praying at home, same. Big disease. Not too long ago, if in a village, like this is a village, if the man doesn't come for Fajr prayer three times in a Jamaat, in a week, they call him a Munafik. He will only come for Zuhur and Isha. Maybe not even Isha. <laughs> so, we have to try. We cannot do this much. Yes, it may be difficult to do. We understand. This is not forcing. You cannot do this. If I cannot do this, then I should be able to do this. If I cannot do this, I should be able to do that. There are endless ways to show your thanks, endless ways to show your love, endless ways to show your charity, endless ways to show that you care, endless ways to show that you are connected. Like I said, some people, they are not here physically. That's okay. We know their hearts are here and their hearts are crying to be here. Then there are those that when they are here, their hearts are crying to go back. I know that too. Yeah. We should not let our ego to trick us like that. But this is Ahir Zaman, as you like. Later, something happens. It may be too late. Later, if something happens, then you know, you take the fork or the knife and you poke your eye. Then you realize it's the wrong thing to do. Then you say, Astaghfirullah, I'm sorry. You can say as much as you want. You're still blind. We should not be blind. In this world, we should not be blind hereafter, inshallah. We have all these things coming up, all these negative things, your ego is boiling. Cover it for a little bit. Cover it, especially for this month of Ramadan. Fast from your anger. Ah, now at that time, you feel you have to fast from that. Stay away from that. May Allah forgive me and bless you, inshallah. As you like, but we are building a very strong Jamaat here, inshallah, Rahman, with our Shaykh's support. Should not be any weakness. Those who are weak, get strong. Inshallah. Otherwise, it's going to be very uncomfortable here. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Assalamu alaikum.